Hi, my Scorpios. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your February 2018 spread, X's and O's for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. You can make a purchase there, or you can choose to use Google Wallet, Cash App, or um, the Facebook GoFundMe. Um, I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. Um, I also have um, an $8 one question, one answer via email only. It is not a reading. It's a one question, one answer via email only. Um, I do not have pay PayPal. I do not have... Um, I do not, I don't have PayPal, I don't do pre-recorded readings, I don't do email readings, I don't do um, WhatsApp readings. I do readings over the phone, through Skype, or um, through FaceTime. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, this is what we got, X's and O's spread. You got the World, you got the Two of Cups, you got the Six of Swords, you got the Page of Wands, and then you got the Five of Cups. So with all of this here, it looks like, for those of you that were entangled with somebody who travels for work, and they're now your ex, or, or they could be your ex in the month of February. It looks like the reason why they're being distant and cold to you is because they're having sex with other people. So this is why the breakup's happening. This is why there's a big you know, break between the two of you. They're sleeping around. Um, now, for those of you, this is a different now, a different scenario. So with the two of cups here, I feel like somebody told you that they wanted to be with you, like marry you, be with you forever. And then all of a sudden, they just, they, they stop calling you, stop texting you, like you never heard from them again. They're going to contact you. Um, the reason why is because I feel like they're, they had unfinished business with like a, the kid's mom or, or the baby daddy. So there was some sort of unfinished business. Um, also, I feel like there's a Leo involved here, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Sagittarius Leo. Um, big emphasis on Sagittarius, big emphasis on Aries. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I do see a little bit of earth energy, but it's very slim. Um, I feel like for those of you that are on the rocks with an earth sign, Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, I think that you guys have kids together or you're very much like, you know, either that you guys live together, you know, things are in everybody's name, but they like, they tend to kind of live their own life. So it is like you guys broke up because they're living their own life. This person's going to kind of get their, get it together. So if you're concerned about an earth sign that you're with, but you guys are very distant, like you're living like roommates, but maybe you're married, things are going to get better, much better with an earth sign. Um, and then as far as the water goes, some of you had to let a fellow water sign go because they were getting overly emotional or you were getting overly emotional. So somebody had to let you go. They couldn't continue with the relationship. I feel like um, if if this is you and you want your ex back who, who claimed you were overly emotional or very possessive, maybe pull it back just a, a bit so that, um, <laughs> so that things aren't so psychotic. This is if you want the person back. For some of you, you're going to be like, oh, you either take me as I am or don't take me at all. Um, and that's understandable. But for those of you that kind of, you know, know that you're a little bit out of control, <laughs> you might want to rein it in a bit so that... Um, so that you guys can function as a couple. <laughs> it's kind of hard to function as a couple when you're punching each other in the face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lots. I've been seeing lots of screaming outside, things like that. So for those of you that were involved in toxic relationships like that, um, save that for inside. Yeah, don't do that outside. Um, and then with the page of uh, wands, expect to hear from a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. It looks like this person does want to want another try. They can't give you all that you want, but they can give you a little bit. And then, um, and then for some of you, for the cross watchers, if you happen to be a fire sign, it looks like Scorpio won't be able to give you what you want. Maybe a, a scrap or two. Maybe something to hold on to, but nothing, nothing serious, nothing concrete, nothing, nothing with a with a foundation. Just a, just a broken a broken foundation that's flooded and corroded. That's all they can offer you. Um, they can't give you what they don't have. And then um, for the Scorpios that were dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for those of you that got together with an air sign super, super quick, and you guys like moved in together and like started a life, and then you're like, oh no, what did I do here? Uh, I don't think I'm ready for this. Um, you, you and that air sign will get back together. There was a little break there, but you guys are getting back together for sure. All right, my Scorpios, ta-ta for now.